Hi everyone and welcome to Smart Alex Coaching. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use calculus to solve maximum minimum problem, a typical question involving the cylinder. But before we get started, a brief introduction about us. Our videos are created to complement our program to help our students, but as well as to help anyone out there who wants to learn maths. Our videos are uploaded weekly with content and questions ranging from primary school to high school mathematics. So if you do find our content helpful, please help us by clicking like, comment and subscribe. And if you really, really find it good, please help us share it. Your support means a lot to us. It really helps to inspire us to continue doing what we do. But without further wait, let's get started. Here is a typical calculus question students often encounter in the exam. A closed cylindrical container needs to be designed so that its volume is 128 pi centimeter cube. In order to reduce the amount of aluminium used in its production, what are the optimal dimensions, radius r and height h of the can? Hence, calculate the amount of aluminium needed to produce one can of this size. If we think about this question, one of the constraints is that the can has to have a volume of 128 pi centimeter cube. There can be different dimensions. For example, we can have a shorter can with a larger radius r and a smaller height. Alternatively, we can design a taller can with a smaller radius but with a bigger height. Either way, we want to make sure that doesn't matter what values of R or H it is, the volume is always maintained at 128 pi centimeter cube. So we're going to start off with the expression for the volume. The volume of a cylindrical can is given by pi R squared H. And notice that volume is a function of the variable R and H. Because our aim is to minimize the amount of aluminum used, the amount of aluminum used is related to the surface area of the can. So the area of the can will be given by 2 pi r squared, because this is a closed cylinder, so we have to add the top and the bottom circular sections, plus 2 pi r h. And this is the curved surface area around the can. And notice also that a is also a function of R and H. Now, what we now want to do is we want to convert the expression for the surface area to be related to one variable, either R or H. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fact that the volume has to be 128 pi. And so we cancel out the pi and I can express H in terms of R as 128 over R squared. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sub this expression for h into this variable h in our expression for the surface area. So we're going to get a being equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times 128 over r squared. And this simplifies to 2 pi r squared plus 2 five six pi over r. So this is our expression for the surface area, this time purely in terms of the variable r. From the previous slide, we have now derived that the expression for the surface area of the can is given by a is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 256 pi over r. I'm going to differentiate this with respect to r. So dA over dr is equal to 4 pi r minus 256 pi over r squared. And the second derivative, d squared a over dr squared is going to be equal to 4 pi plus 512 pi over r cubed. In order to minimize the area, what we want to get is we want to make sure that dA on dR is equal to zero because that indicates we have a turning point and we want the second derivative to be greater than zero because that tells us that the curve concaves up. So together, this will result in us having a local 
minimum. So if dA over dR is equal to zero, we're going to get 4 pi r is equal to 256 pi over r squared. Crossing out the pi and solving this, we're going to get r cubed is equal to 64. So since r is greater than zero, r will be equal to 8 centimeters. So that's our first piece of information. We then need to verify that the, our second derivative is positive. So we're going to sub in this value of r into this expression. So we're now going to have d squared a over dr squared is going to be equal to 4 pi plus 512 pi over a cube. And of course, both of these terms are positive. So this is going to give us a positive answer. So now we can conclude that the surface area is minimum when we have got a radius of 8 centimeters. So we've now established that in order to minimize the surface area of the can, the radius has to be equal to 8 centimeters. So from our first slide, we worked out that V is equal to pi r squared h, and this needed to be equal to 128 pi centimeter cubed, given that constraint. Now crossing off pi, h was given by 128 over r squared. So if r is equal to 8, then the height of the can would be 128 over 8 squared, or 128 over 64, which is equal to 2 centimeters. So these are the dimensions that will optimize our can. So going back to working out what is the surface area of the can, well, A is given by 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. We now simply sub in these values of r and h into the equation. So we're going to get a being equal to 2 pi times a squared plus 2 pi times a times 2. This is going to be 128 pi plus 32 pi, which will give us 160 pi centimeter square. So our final answer, the minimum area of aluminium needed is 160 pi centimeter square. So that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful. And if you've liked it, please don't forget to subscribe and help us share it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.